<laughs> what I really love about this is Joseph started the first time he tried it, right? What was it? It was all it was all yelling, right? It was really, really yeah. He wanted to threaten her really obviously, really angrily. Okay? But then I said to him, he said uh, what was it you said? You said, yeah, yeah, yeah I don't know. Something's yeah, up with it, right? Yeah, because maybe I should like I mean it's like should it be more laid back or just stand there how it was, just That's right. Like, that's right. Like, more than you just look at him telling the street. Yeah. Yeah, and it's nice to remember that there's no one way, even with these verbs, right? We can try it all these different ways. Yeah. Shakespeare is a different type of language that I just didn't think that I would be able to analyze and get with. Yeah, I, do. I thought it was kind of crazy because we have to like talk back old English style, but uh, it's fun. The uh, I say acting with it, trying to convey your emotions with um, Shakespeare's words and how he wrote them down when he spoke. Uh, yes, the first time that our um, instructor came, we went to the auditorium and we had a big ensemble like we did today, and we all picked our lines and had to convey them. That's what really clicked with me because I was like, okay, there's different kinds of ways you can do a certain line in more than one action. Very cool. So we got the scene where um, they're like fighting, no, they're drinking, and then they're, then they fight. And then Montana gets stabbed, I think, yeah. And, the yeah, scene. it's a fighting scene. It's a fighting scene. Yep. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Black like pirates. Well, we thought since the fighting scene was kind of our, our thing, and with pirates, Back in the day, they used to drink all the time on the ships, and that kind of intertwines with how we have the drinking scenes and the fighting scenes, because during the during our scene, the our characters get drunk and and eventually start fighting each other.
You see this fella that has gone before? I fear the trust the fellow puts him in. But is he often thus? Never more the prologue of his sleep. It will work, don't put him mind if it. Perhaps he sees it not. I'm not ready to do it. I pray you. After the lieutenant, go. <laughs> Since great period no more, shouts first his own second, one of graph infirmity, which has an honest accent to say, so to no more. Not I for this fair island. I do little Cassio well and would do much to cure him of this evil. But hark, what noise? Help! Help! Oh, you rascal! What's the matter to you? A name teaching my duty. I'll beat the name into a twig and bottle. Beat! Don't stop breaking! <laughs> Well, Lieutenant, are you hurt? I passed all surgery. Mary, heaven forbid. Reputation, reputation, reputation! I have lost my reputation! I have lost the immortal part of myself and what remains of best view! My reputation, you have no more reputation! Because I am an honest man. I thought he'd received some bodily wound. There's more sense in that than in, in reputation. What, man? There are ways to recover the general again. You were now cast in this mood, a punishment more in policy than in malice. Suit him again, he's yours. I would rather sue to be despised than to see so good a commander, was so slight, so drunken, and so discreet an officer. Oh God, this man should put an enemy in their mouths to steal away their brains. I'm gone. I'll tell you what you shall do. Our general's wife is now the general. Confess yourself freely here. Importune her help to put you in your place again. You advise me well. I will beseech the virtuous Desdemona to undertake for me. You're in the right. Good night, Lieutenant. I must have the watch. Good night, Honest Iago. And what's he then that says I play the villain? To counsel Cassio to this parallel course? Directly to his good? Divinity of hell! When devils with the blackest sins put on? They do suggest at first with heaven the shows. As I do now, for whiles this honest fool plies Desdemona to her marriage fortunes, and she for him pleads strongly with the more. I'll pour this pestilence into his ear that she repels him for her body's lust. By how much she strives to do him good, I shall do her credit with the more. So I'll turn her virtue into pitch, and of her own goodness make the net that shall enmesh them all. <laughs> <laughs> 